Hi there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to look at how you can automate your fintech business with virtual agents. I am trying to purposely avoid the buzzword chatbots because it's been run down, used and reused, and we're basically getting tired of it. So what I wanted to bring forth to you is how you can automate processes in your fintech business. So fintech, if you're not familiar with it, is financial institutions that are going digital. So this this use case, we're going to look at how you can automate some processes and what is possible with some of the AI tools out there. Now, this specific example is provided by our friends over at Ultimate. And uh, yeah, we want to show you this example of what you can do with this tool. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, my name is Dominic. I'm a customer experience enthusiast. I'm also a Zendesk partner, a Zendesk consultant. I've been one for the past nine years. Here to bring you value, trying to nudge customer experience a little bit further. I'm going to show you some of these use cases that you can solve. Specifically, for example, you can automate how to transfer money, the transfer status, credit cards, inquiries, lost or stolen cards, order a new card. We're just going to go one by one to see exactly what we can automate. Keep in mind, this is going to be a bot. I'm going to interact with the bot. And of course, once it guides me through some flows, it will definitely be able to connect me with an agent. But in order to make sure that we are efficient, we can automate a lot of these processes because they don't need necessarily an agent. If we have an API, we can connect to it and we can potentially solve these requests and automate them with a bot. So let me share my screen and you should see it. The use case for FinTech. So I'm on a page where I'm looking for support for this fintech company, and I'm going to start interacting with the bot. It is created on a Zenda Sunshine platform. So this bot is created with the help of Zenda Sunshine, and let's go. So let's start interacting with it. This is some history that I have. Let's start a new conversation. Um, I am going to play along, play nicely. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to see what this is about because, of course, I can. I can, of course, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. I just want to be nice and see what it can do. So let's see, greet me with uh, ultimate money. My name is Umi and I will be your virtual assistant today. Very good to customer experience to let them know that they are talking to a virtual agent. How can I help? Um, okay, so it looks, it gives me some indication. What can I help you ask you? Yeah, what can I ask you? What can I ask you actually? Let's see, ah, so let's see. We have these, uh, ooh, we have these uh, options. So credit card inquiry, change contact details, transfer status, login process, problems, how to transfer money, order new card. Let's uh, have a credit limit inquiry. I have a credit limit of some amount and I would like to increase it or decrease it. Depends. Let's take a closer look at your credit card limit. Can you take your account ID, please? Our account ID is five digits. Oh yeah, sure. Um, let me remember it. It's this. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you. Just a sec while I load your account. Nearly there. Can you share the last five digits of your credit card and you'd like to check? Yeah, you'll see. So this is already private information, which is very secure, but the bot can just guide me through this flow by itself. So let's see. You're checking your limit now. By the way, this is taking my information and it's pinging a backend like with where I have my information stashed and it's bringing back what it finds. So it found that I have a credit limit of 3000. Seems that you've been able approved to increase your credit limit to 5000. Would you like to take advantage of this? Be good. Why not? Let's do it. All right. This should take a minute. We need to verify the credit increase ending in blah, blah, blah. Can you share your personal pin? Yes, I can, but you can't see it. <laughs> Here it is. Thank you. And that's it. And of course, asks for feedback. Pretty good. All right, cool. Have a great day. I need help with something else. All right, what do I need now? I change uh, change account details. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, automate that too. Updating contact details, a 60 second task. You can uh, do directly from your mobile bank. Do you have time now or can, can I walk you through it? Yes, I have time. Let's play along. Okay, first head over to your mobile account and log in. You can do it here. Aha, so this is assuming I'm on my phone and I can log in. Once you're logged in, you can update your details directly by accessing my profile. Let me know once you're done. Um, unable to make change. Let's see what's going on. By the way, I'm interacting with this for the first time, so I don't really know what to expect here. I want to keep these genuine, so let's see. Don't worry, I'll help you through it. Most often, following these simple steps will help change your browser Chrome, clearing cookies, login, so it's helping me with it, some tech support. Okay, take time with your three steps while we're here. Yes, all good. No uh, error happened. Ooh, okay. Let's 
let's go further. Let's dig deep. Ah, so here we go. In this case, I will note you down with your details and pass them to one of our team members. Aha, please fill in your name. Okay. I'll put my put my name Dominic. Put my last name Roca. It's not that one, but let's do it. Dominic at Roca. That work. Phone number. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, good. Let's uh let's fire it up. All right, let's see. And now, thank you. I have forwarded your you forward your details to one of our team members who will take the update in the next 24 hours. Okay, good. Thank you. Is there anything else? Yes, I still need help. Ah, typo there. Uh in that case. Well, uh, yes, I said yes. So this is, uh, I'm not happy now. Put you through to one of our agents. No, thank you. Not now. Cause I'm still trying to play around with you. All right. Thank you for your feedback. I need uh, some more things. Please. Things, uh, transfer status. Um, uh, how do I try to transfer money? Order a new credit card. Yeah, that would be good. Sure. Ah, so look, I have debit credit. I want a debit card. Sure, let's go with debit. Please choose which color. Ooh, look at these nice products. Cool, cool. Choose a product. Um, okay, I like this black one. Oh, this one is good too. I like this one. Yeah, let's go with the black. Uh, black it is. Your order has now been made and your credit card will be spent to you with your home address. Before you go, would you mind rating your experience with us? Yes, this was good, actually. So it actually knows who I am because I logged in earlier. I'm not done yet with you. I'm not done yet with you, young bot. <laughs> Let's see what this does. I have no idea. Oh, it seems you've gotten lost a bit. Ah, so it detects like what I write. If it's something that it doesn't know, it will just push me through these uh, lost or stolen card. Well, let's see. This one has seemed like urgent. Lost card. Uh, bank ID. Let's put a bank ID. Do I have five here? Two, four. Yep. Mobile key. Uh, let's just play them off with this one. So let's see what this does. Collects two. Thank you. You have two options. You can, ooh, you can either temporarily deactivate your cards and block it. If you know it has been stolen, always block it. Which card would you like to block or deactivate? So these are the cards that I have. Aha, temporarily deactivate, please. Wow, this is pretty cool. I love it. Uh, your card has been verified to do deactivate, please. Yeah, I, I need you to deactivate it because uh, your card is not temporarily de 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 yeah. being deactivated. Would you like to block or your card? Another card? No, that's fine. That's the one that was lost or stolen. All right, cool. So yeah, that's uh, pretty good. So let's see. Um, let's just fuck around now see what happens trying to annoy it okay it's starting from the beginning very good i like this anyways so i'm not going to continue with this so these are some examples of, of processes that you can automate within your fintech business so i i really like it I really like the fact that this is a repetitive process that nobody would like to do anyway. Businesses like uh, Ultimate are bringing forth this virtual agent functionality, which is a chatbot, uh, that can automate these processes that nobody likes to do. And for FinTech, I think this is very useful, like uh, transfer money, credit limits, uh, order a new card, cancel card or block it. You know, it can be ready round the clock, 24 hours, weekends, it's never tired. And uh, it saves you a bunch of money because if you do it well, then why not? You know, it's uh, it's doing all this job for free. Well, not for free, obviously, but it's doing all this work, which, as I said, I would enjoy doing myself. So yeah, this has been the use case for FinTech, what you can automate, some of the processes that you can automate. What are some of the processes that you need automated? Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Um, yeah. That's it. I'll see you in the next one. And yeah. Bye.